to Launch House. We're here at a luxury house on the Gold Coast. Five business owners will join me, Tina Tower, as I pull back the curtain for the first time so we can see what it takes to launch your empire builder, the world's best online education for female course creators. Get ready to watch the action, excitement, chaos, fulfillment, and drama unfold. Welcome to day two of launch. So our little setup that we have for today, um, We've got a few different things going on. We're going to create some group reels for social media that are coming out. We're going to have the Empire Accelerator happening shortly. Um, so everyone can be on for that as well so they can be in the chat box and answering that. We'll say hello at the start so that everyone can come around and see everybody who is there inside the launch house. Um, and then we'll share the link that people can have discovery calls with you as well so that we can all, all jump on and say hello to people. Um, all right, we're going to be welcoming new members soon, which is very, very exciting. Uh, so I thought we'd just talk a little bit about welcoming and onboarding new members and what is involved in that. So what we're doing here um, at Launch House is we've got shells because every launch we have something different to represent people joining so that it's a visual thing. So last launch I had rainbow paddle pop sticks making rainbows. <laughs> it's always something random. Um, and this time we have shells. So we've got big big white shells that will write people's names on and then, then put them somewhere um, that we haven't decided yet. Uh, so that we have that and then people will be coming straight into the Facebook group so we can give them some love and win that. So is there any questions that people have about destination launching? How big is your car to drive with all the stuff? Well, I had to drive. Do you know what, yeah, though, This has been the first time I've driven. Normally yeah. I fly, so I have it all in a suitcase. Okay. And that's harder. So I can fit most of my business in my backpack, which is great. Including the tech. Yeah. Yeah. So I have my... Well, I have my laptop, I have my podcast mic, I have, at each destination, I buy a second screen, too, to plug in, so I always go, like in America, I'll go to the Best Buy and just get a screen and plug it in so that I can see properly. Um, so yeah, not very much. I have my, my camera with the shotgun mic, and, and that's all we need, really. So really, you can launch from anywhere, as long as you have good internet connection and beautiful natural light, because... No amount of artificial lighting can substitute for the beautiful dewy glow that a natural light can give to you. Everybody, welcome to day two of the Empire Accelerator. We have uh, some people here that are in the other room in Launch House with me. Hello, Eve. Hello, Mia. I can see you there. Roz, Becca. Hello, friends. Um, and I can see some of our existing members here as well. Hi, Dave. I can see you on the front. Um, Simone has just joined us. Welcome, Simone. It's so nice to see you. Um, so we closed waitlist this morning. Um, we did have... And uh, welcome to this very special podcast episode, one like I have never done before. I am coming to you live from Launch House HQ on the Gold Coast, and I am not alone. <laughs> I am here with other members uh, we have. Let's go around the circle and introduce ourselves. Eve Drew. I'm Becca Maxwell from Do Divorce Right. Jamie Abbott. Taryn Richardson. And Rosalind Red. <laughs> so Taryn, we have wrapped Accelerator training day one. What did you find? Uh, it was really interesting to see behind the scenes actually. I've never actually been on the Accelerator program before. There were some raving fans on that. I call them groupies and honestly it's a little bit weird. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. But obviously it worked because there are so many new members that have joined her Empire Builder as a result of day one. What did I learn from day one of the Accelerator training program? Well, really, 
this is just such an incredible community. Tina has the best energy. She brings it not only in the training, but also in the house as well. And I think the first thing that I really took away was how engaged everybody was in the chat, how the energy was there, how excited everybody was. There were people joining her Empire Builder straight away, which was super cool because it is such a fantastic program. But I think it was just get out there and take action. So doing that one thing each day, taking action, moving forward, you can do it. We're all doing it. We're all here for it. So bring it on, Accelerator, day one. Becca, now that you've been in Launch House for a few days, is Destination launching something you'd like to do? Definitely, I would love to. Um, I don't think I'd like to do it alone because I really struggle to come up with kind of creative ideas all the time. So I would have it all planned. But one of the experiences, one of the takeaways, I guess, from being here is that having women around you, really supportive, wonderful women around you makes a difference. So I'd definitely roll in some girlfriends. The camera crew is testing me. <laughs> I've just been pulled out of my quiet time. I've been in the uh, little sauna um, and here we are filming again. Um, no, I'm really enjoying it. I'm finding lots of little pockets of quiet. I went for a walk this morning, um, feeding off the energy of the other beautiful women, um, but looking forward to getting back in the hot box. Uh, you are in the share room. How are you going sharing a room in Launch House? Look, I haven't shared a room with someone else in a long time. And I'm one of those people that hates silence. So I feel I always have to talk just to fill in the silence. And so last night when Becca and I went to bed, I just kept talking and thought, wow, it's dead silent. I'll just keep saying some stories and, and telling some stories. And then eventually I heard Becca start snoring. So uh, yeah, that kind of came to a bit of an end. I obviously put her to sleep. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love live launching and I love what I do, but there is no getting around. Like, you know, I can't hide my face. <laughs> I blink and my eyes sting because it's worth it and it's so much fun, but there's no getting around. It is exhausting. <laughs> Another sale has just come in and this is why it makes it so worth it because it's going all well, but it is exhausting.